It's an honor to say that I'm from Oakland. The foundation of who I am, the person that I am, all that I am is because of you. And I thank you for that. Even better than the town business Dave Stewart just laid down, Shooty Babbitt, is the fact that he rolled up there with no notes. He delivered his speech with no notes. I'll well, get his thoughts in a second. What do you think about it? It's easy to speak the truth. Um, as I said and talked about it earlier, it's such a distinguished honor to be among these guys. I've got a chance to watch Stu since he was a teenager, play with Ricky, play against Ricky. And right away, you knew something was special about him as far as physical skills were concerned. But as you got a chance to learn more about him, you know, the brothers hang out during the season, during the offseason, because that's how we got better. And then you find out what kind of men they were. Now they end up being mentors to you because you look up to the things that they do and the things that they say. So, Stu, we're so honored to be working with you yeah, this man. year, man. Well, you, you know, you yeah. were rough in the beginning, but now you done took your wow. game. Way up I'm here, man. Rough, so, uh, man, I forgot McCutcheon's name. <laughs> <laughs> no, Congratulations we, today, bro. Thank you. He makes you rough as a pitcher. No, never mind, never mind. Um, so, Stu, I mean, I think there were great takeaways from everybody's speech. I, I love what Reggie said about this town needs a new ballpark. I love what X said about, hey, I hope the 2018 A's have what we had in the late 80s. Like, what did you take away from being down there with those guys and all the festivities you were part of tonight? Well, for me... When you come into this ballpark, and I think I said this, when I first came to this ballpark in 1968, Reggie Jackson was a part of that team. Right. Raleigh Fingers was a part of that team. Catfish Hunter was a part of the team. And Charlie O was, was the owner of the baseball team. And so I, I have memories from those ball clubs as if it was yesterday. Then you take it to the next level with Eck and Ricky. Yep. I mean, those guys were guys that I went to battle with every day. Uh, day in and day out, we had the ups, we had the downs. Um, we went through it all. Ed came here in 87 when we were just figuring out who we were. And he wasn't like the, the, the closer he that he became, not. you he know? He was starting at yeah, first right. when he came here, and then he eventually went to that closer's role. So, you know, growing with these guys, growing up in this community and watching this team and watching the team go from a 68 team that was hoping to win to 72, 73, and 74 winning championships. It was just unbelievable. And for me, it was just awesome being in the company of all of those guys. Yep. And, and, and I say this in, in, in the vein that it should be said, these guys are National Hall of Fame guys. And for me to have the opportunity to come into this Hall of Fame with the National Hall of Fame guys, I felt really privileged, I felt really humbled and honored to have the opportunity to do that. And Barack, I appreciate you helping me with my speech today. Um, it was absolutely outstanding. I owe you, brother, thank you. It was so good, he didn't even write it down. He mem would you memorize it? Barack what, taught me or, how to do or that. Or did you just man? go completely off the cuff? Barack what taught did you, me how. What did you do? <laughs> I wanna know your secrets. My, I, even I need notes here, Obama, come on. Obamaism.